Rural to urban migration is one of the problems in both the rural areas in most countries in Africa and also in the cities because children who don't have uh, enough in their villages think that there's plenty at the city level. They go on the street picking some few things in their hand to sell and that puts them uh, into trouble most of the time. IFCO's program is to equip village schools with computer technology, with teaching the teachers and also the students to become a computer literate so they can interact with the rest of the world. I have benefited from IFCO. My village has benefited from IFCO. The whole thing is having the opportunity to use the computer. We are now in a global village. Everything is going IT now. The bridge between those in the cities and the rural folks is very wide. They know to become a doctor or to become a president or to become a teacher, you have to come from a city. We choose to bridge that gap. When I was growing up in a village and I didn't have anything, if I had somebody come in and just talk to me, is something that I cherished so much. When I see this little case around here, I feel very, very good because- The whole uh, approach of sowing the seed of patriotism soccer, is um, about football, creating yeah, good basketball. world citizens. But you come to school to study and also you have to be very respectful. Every year, going around and talk to about 5,000 different kids, we equip in a couple of kids who are going to come out and then have this mentality to do something for others. I want to be a doctor in future so that there will be increase in productivity of the country. During the donation ceremony, we have everybody in the community. We have the, the chiefs, we have the local officials, we have parents, we have students. I wish to welcome all of you present to this great ceremony, and I hope that your contributions in this direction will be put to the first of our schools. From here, we're going to take the computers and we're going to install them. So we, we're not just leaving them here and go. Without your company, for example, this school or this town will not get a computer. And people are working from other towns to come to this school because of the computers. In fact, it has brought unity amongst the community. Wow. IFCO is, is cultivating a sustainable development that is already bearing fruit. Computer has now come to live with us. Today is a remarkable day for the school because everything that is being done these days are being used by computers. Good morning. Good morning. Photos and Fun is a program that is aimed at engaging kids into technology. Then just having fun at the same time, getting some knowledge. And then once you finish taking the pictures, we're going to select the good ones and we're going to print it out. These kids have very realistic dreams that is very, very achievable. Because when I was growing up, we didn't have computers. You can be in your little village and get information from the Library of Congress or the university in, in Germany. If you know how to weave a hat, you can take a picture of your hat and put it on eBay. And somebody in Australia can go to the same site look at that hat and then bid on it to buy the hat from you. Or you think it's a better thing to sell bananas on the street rather than being in a classroom equipping yourself with some knowledge. You're really selling your, yourself short. So we need them to, to help us uh, help ourselves. When you have knowledge, the knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. They just want the children here to move abreast with their Counterparts with IFCO, we do more than talk. They have brought love, health, 
unity among the community. With the very little that we have, we do what even people with great things cannot do. What you see here is just a beginning. It's something we want you to copy. We want you to see and then see the benefits that you reap in what you can do to make Africa better and to make a better world.